Yes. So let us start with the third type of hybridization that is sp3 hybridization. Yes. So as the name suggests sp3 hybridization basically we have 1s plus px py and pz orbitals intermixing so intermixing of 1s and 3p orbitals is called uh, your uh, sp3 hybridization so i made the structure let me make this properly yes yes so uh, the intermixing of 1s px P, py and pz is called sp3 hybridization when these intermix together the structure which or after intermixing after forming the hybrid orbitals the structure looks like a tetrahedral structure so remember sp3 means tetrahedral sp means linear sp2 means trigonal planar right for tetrahedral structure how do you get a central atom in the center there is one angle here one one sigma bond and one more and these are shorter because they are going to rear in and this is like this so the tetrahedral structure resembles this exactly you will be getting it like this so if i join if i join this tetrahedral the longer bond but you know you have to join these also and form a bond directly so let me draw the tetrahedral structure and show it to you so let us start first let me pick up so as i said 1s px py and pz so let me take an example for tetrahedral structure and show you basic example and the most famous example is methane molecule so methane is an example for tetrahedral structure so methane ch4 correct yes now write the structure one hydrogen hydrogen here one more hydrogen here one more hydrogen now again i'll use that formula <coughs> to find hybridization as I said, to find hybridization, I have to use the formula sigma bond pairs plus lone pairs, which is what I have to use to know whether it is correct or not. Sigma bond pairs, how many sigma bond pairs do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 bond, sigma bond pairs. Do we have lone pairs? Let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No lone pairs, 0. So, what is the type of hybridization? sp3 hybridization. This is how we are going to do sp3 hybridization. So, let us start with the structure. So, as soon as I have to draw step 1. What is step 1? I have to write the uh, atomic number for carbon first. 6. Right? 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. So, you are going to write uh, electronic configuration carbon ground state. How does this look? This is 2s2. This is 2p half and half. Correct. Now, carbon excited state. One electron from here will get excited to 2p. How does this look now? This is your 2s and you have 3p half filled p orbitals. This is s, 2s, this is px, this is py, this is pz. Now, during hybridization, 1s and 3p will combine together and forms sp3 hybridization. That is why we call it sp3 hybridization. Now, <laughs> these particular now, when I am trying to draw, now I have got a conclusion, I have come to a conclusion. Now, uh, ma'am, why have four, uh, this is, we have four hydrogen, so we need one vacant space here, here, here to intermix or for hydrogen atom to come and form the sigma bonds. So, let us draw the diagram. How to draw the diagram? Yes, for methane molecule, I said, what is the structure they show? It should be exactly a one bond here, one, one and one. I want to use the same structure and draw the CH4 molecule. Now, in the A, A, A position, this is your central atom, carbon. Okay, yes. Now, <coughs> your carb, first, these will intermix, I said, it looks like one lobe here. Yes. Now, your three, this is here, shorter, this is towards you and this is your bond. Okay, now you have intermixing of orbitals. Uh, I made it a bit this one, intermixing of orbitals. 
yes now it's still not complete these are all sp3 hybridized orbitals right now you have four hydrogens one hydrogen here one more hydrogen here one more hydrogen here one more hydrogen here so this is your hydrogen atom this is your hydrogen this is your hydrogen this is your hydrogen so what is the type of hybridization here this is sp3 s hybridization here also sp3 s hybridization sp3 s hybridization and here also sp3 s hybridization yes now what is the bond angle bond angle is 109 degrees 28 minutes for tetrahedral the bond angle is 109 degrees but if they are set in lone pairs there are certain variations in water uh, molecule where it will go down to 104 that also i'll explain so i am complete with the answer i am not complete i still have to write the basic data so what is the basic or uh, uh, the important data what is the uh, what data should i write here <coughs> shape of the molecule shape is tetrahedral then what is the bond angle which i wrote just now bond angle is 109 28 that's yes next s percentage s is 25 percent and p character is 75 percent this is your answer once again as soon as your molecule is given to you first to step one as soon as this is given to you first write the structure once you write the structure, please find out whether which type of hybridization is this. Once you find the type of hybridization, come back and write the electronic configuration. After writing the configuration, write the ground state. After ground state, you are going to write the excited state. And show how many are intermixing. Now we very well know sp3 hybridization means the shape of the molecule is tetrahedral. So draw the lobes in that direction. Once you are done with that, now you have hydrogens, four hydrogens. As we very well know, hydrogen forms sigma bonds, right? Hydrogen is 1s1. So, one hydrogen. So, four hydrogens on all the sides. Then write the bond angle, then show the shape, bond angle, test percentage, P, and your answer is complete. Please note it.